Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. You click this video because you have under eye circles, you have under eye hollows, or you have darkness that you want to cover. I'm here to show you how to do it. And look, this intro isn't going to be long. We're going to jump straight into it. So if you want to see how I cover my under eye circles and hollows and darkness, stay tuned and keep on watching. This video is going to get straight to the point because this is something I have struggled with and I finally found an answer and I can't wait to share with you guys. So starting off, I'm going to start with primer like I do all the time. Today I'm using the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I'm going to put that all over my face. This is part of the makeup process because you do want to make sure your makeup lasts and you want to be able to focus on your main areas of concern. I am putting a little bit of this under my eyes. I have already moisturized under my eyes. You want to make sure you're doing that because when you put products under your eyes, it will tend to dry your eyes out and it will make them look worse. It'll look really crepey and dry and show your fine lines more. So we don't want that. Next, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Today I'm using the Maybelline. This is the Superstay Active Wear. This is in the shade 355 Coconut. And I'm gonna put this all over my face, including a little bit under my eyes. The key to this is you do want to use something that is full coverage. This foundation is a little dark for me, but we will make it work. So you can see I put a little bit under my eyes. The shade of this is also a little more golden, slightly orange on me. So that does help color correct as well. With my foundation blended out, you can still see there is a slight hollow under my eyes. So we are still going to work on that, but just the foundation has helped a little bit already. And I put just the thinnest amount of foundation there. You don't wanna to have too much product because then it will cake and crease on you. So just light thin layers for each step. So now I am gonna add a little bit of color corrector. Anytime you have any kind of darkness that you want to make lighter, you're gonna add an orange color corrector depending on your skin tone. Lighter skin tones will use a peach, darker skin tones will use more of an orange. I like the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Orange. I've used this forever have different ones but i always tend to go back to this one and i'm going to put this right in the areas that are the darkest and again i only want to put a little bit and i only want to put it where i need it this does not need to be put completely under my eyes so i'm going to let that sit for a little bit just to dry down and then i'm going to blend it out for small areas like this i like to start off with my brush if i'm not trying to like airbrush and spread it out and i'm just going to pat this in where I want it to stay. So just in this area here. And I'm also going to bring it up to the inner corner because I do have a little darkness there as well. So you can see that's already helping a little bit. So now we're gonna go into concealer. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. And again, this is also full coverage. You definitely want full coverage for this. And you're just going to apply this under your eyes as well on top of what you've already put. And I do do this in a triangle because I want lightness above and below the hollow to try to bring that forward. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the other areas I apply as well. So again, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and then I'm going to blend it out with my sponge. Blending this out, I want to make sure that I go all the way up to my under eye, my lash line, and all the way down around my nose and then also bring it down in this area here. I also use this as my primer for my eyes most of the time. So I'm just going to bring that on my lid. You also want to make sure that you get the areas where you put the orange color corrector, like you can still see a little bit of it here. Make sure you blend your concealer over that. You want everything to be seamless. So as you can see, starting to get a little better, but we're not done yet. 
Another thing I like to do is once I've blended out with my sponge, I go back in the corners and right under my eye with a brush because sometimes I feel like the sponge just doesn't get it smooth enough. So that's just something that I prefer to do to make it smooth. Now it is getting better, but you do still see a little bit of the hollow. The hollow comes from this part here being sunken in and then this being brought forward. So we're gonna put a little more concealer in the hollow part, which is just here, and then down on this part here. And we're gonna focus it just there and bring this area more forward. So again, I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just going to pat and stay concentrated in the area where I put the concealer to begin with. So you can see that's starting to make a little more of a difference. And then whatever's left over, I'm just gonna drag it out so there's no harsh line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now the next important step is to make sure you set this so that it does not move. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Banana Powder. This is the Photo Focus Banana Powder. And I'm just gonna take this on my sponge and I'm gonna set under my eye. And I'm not necessarily going to bake. I'm just going to press this into the skin. So as you can see, it takes away the shine and helps with the hollow. And I'm gonna put this everywhere I put concealer. Oh, I didn't blend that out. Mm, mm, mm. Now, another key point is, like we said earlier with the concealer, you're gonna add a little more powder here just to bring light to this area. but not under the eyes. And then I'm just gonna take my powder brush and I'm gonna go over all of these areas where I powdered just to help blend everything in. But as you can see, my under eyes look way better than they did earlier. And there you have it. Do you guys see the difference right now between how we started and where we finished? This makes a huge difference in getting rid of that hollowness, the darkness. Yes, it is still the shape of your face. There might be a little bit, but this is so dramatic. It looks so much smoother and so much more even, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face to show you how it looks all put together, and that's it. All right guys, so this is it. This is the final look. All I did was add mascara and some liner and a little more blush because we know I love blush, but huge difference between the way my under eyes looked before when we first started to now. So if you've had issues with under eye circles, hollows, darkness, I hope this video helps you fix it. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this helpful and you're gonna try it out, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe and join the family, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.